Hello, my name is Isa Lomax. Um, I'm a Quaker who lives in Derbyshire, and I've seen the piece Quakers and Woolly Money Liberals? Question mark, and I'd like to make a response. Uh, there are a number of points I'd like to make. The first one being that, uh, well, it's not a point so much as a question. What is the subtext of this piece? It seems to me that what is being said here is that there are only basically two choices. Either the kind of liberal Quakerism that the piece talks about, or a narrow, confined fundamentalism where all freedom of thought and uh, religious growth is, is, is confined and cramped. Now, if that is the case, and I think that's very sad because it misses something very important. Uh, the other point I'd like to make is that I have had uh, the experience of being up very close to the, this kind of liberal Quaker thought over nearly 20 years. And my question is, is it what, it, what is its fruits? Does it bring the kind of unity, loving, empowering unity that it professes to? Well, unfortunately, my experience is that it doesn't, and that it is just as divisive and possibly even more divisive than the kind of religious fundamentalism that the piece is actually attacking, or some contributors to the piece are actually attacking. Um, the reason for this is because everybody is left to make up their own mind about the important truths which face any religious community. And that just descends into a kind of moral relativism. His truth, her truth, your truth, my truth. But no concept of a shared, divinely revealed truth that empowers human beings to live as they should. Um, my other observation is that this kind of liberal Quakerism is also very fiercely intolerant of any view that detracts from that kind of unity and diversity rhetoric. And again, um, that is just as divisive, even more divisive than other kinds of fundamentalism. What I would have liked to have seen is a reference in this piece to that very, very important and precious part of our Quaker heritage, and that is the experience of being brought into unity through the power of God. Now that requires people to be transformed inwardly and be helped to be willing to lay aside their own um, wants, desires and really come under the influence of the Spirit of God. And that brings a very unique and precious experience of a unified religious community. And that is a really true witness to the love of God in the world. And I'm only sorry that the, the piece didn't actually make that point. Because that's one of the things that makes, makes me want to be a Quaker. Um, other than that though, a very interesting use of media stimulates discussion. Obviously if it didn't, I wouldn't be here sipping my tea and taking the time to respond. Thank you very much.